stomach churns around and around. The bile within is unsettled. Each moment brings a new surge. Your companions sleep like blissful lumps of meat. He is so afraid. So, so afraid of everyone. Besides you, who he ought to fear most. You could do so much better, milady. I won't lay so much as a talon on him. I wouldn't rob you of that delight. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. We all kill what we love most. You like him for more than his looks, but he will never believe that. Why not make him a pretty corpse? <laughs> are wrong to consider another your equal. Hmm. It is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions, Master. There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little Moon Maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. Good night. Sweet. Your companion rests blissfully without a fear in the world. As your hand approaches his body, it wavers. It longs to close around his throat. for a cuddle, although you don't look entirely yourself. What's going on that head of yours? All right, talk quickly then. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. How flattering and disturbing. You could have talked to me before things got murderously bad, you know. We are technically in this together. It certainly puts the death of dear, sweet Alfira into some perspective. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile. And you faint in a dizzy blur. You are not yourself. All control is gone. This thing won't have you. It won't win. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. 
We ask before we bite. You're cute, you know. In another life, we might have been friends. Your hands are raw and bloody as every inkling of your urge yearns you to tear your bindings. Easy now, darling. You've got this. And I've got you. Do the same to me. Now just relax. Dawn isn't far off. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. You once again inhabit your own mind. I felt for the bard. See you like that. Poor Alfera never stood a chance, did she? Now that you're back with us, we need to have a talk. You're not alone in this. None of us are. We can even compare notes if you like. But whatever this is, you will get through it. And I'll be here to make sure you do. Anyway, it's a brand new day. I'm sure we'll find lots of people for you to kill. Oh, God damn it! What was in that potion? I wonder if the gods are watching me. I thank you for not killing me the other night. Are you all right now, or is today a I will wed you with a delicate veil of blood blooming over your white curls kind of day? I'm also worried about me, but I seem to somehow be worried about you more. You give me something to care for, and that's worth the peril. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? I hadn't really decided on the specifics. Obviously, we could stop the ritual, or... not. What? <laughs> I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. <laughs> I don't relish it, but my siblings lured thousands of people to their deaths over the years. I doubt Baldur's Gate would miss them. Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. Then I'll see your delicious self tonight. I'm all pointy ears, my love. <laughs> there is nothing I'd like. <laughs> I do rather like that, you know. We get along quite well, I think. 
I know you have your personal demons to contend with. But if I didn't make it clear before, I think you can beat this. Just don't give in. And seek help if you need it. You wanted something? You are worried about this killing urge. I can see it. I will try to help you resist. But spill a single drop of my blood, and yours will flow in a gusher. I see the hunger in your eyes, and I see how it worries you. It worries me, too. But you are stronger than the hunger. You can resist. You will resist. I'm sure of it. Glad to see we all made it through the night intact. A promising sign that we may be able to curb those urges of yours. Now, as the saying goes, what's left undone should be left unspoken. Is there some lighter subject you wish to discuss? <laughs> 